All right, this is the last plan game I have for you. Um, but we could do more if you like. But this is the last plan one. This is the that game I like. Huh? That I like. If you would like, well, we'll I'm only doing this for you. <laughs> well, this. He's got me over a barrel, people. He's like, "Oh, do this for my birthday." <laughs> What's a what what a barrel? A barrel of what? This is an old term. Mm -hmm. I got me over a barrel. It's, it's kind of forced me to do this. I didn't force you. You no, said you'd I do know. it for my birthday. Yeah. Exactly. I wanted to introduce her to the stuff that I like. And this is a game me and Sam play And together. he's very fair. He listens mm -hmm. to the nerdy stuff that I like. So I wanted to mm -hmm. reciprocate. This is a video game about calling your mom. And it's pretty... What the heck with the pixels? That's just the style of this one. I never get tired of this view. Claire, you're going to have a great time here this summer, I think. It'll be good to get away from the city and take a break from everything else going on. Why are you reading this out loud? I don't know, because for Go the viewers. Ahead. Okay. <laughs> do you not want me to read it? No, you We can, can do little voices. No, we're not doing the voices. You can do the voices. Okay. This is a game called A Short I Hike. I don't think you appreciate the fact that you have all these games, but my generation is the one that was playing with them. You mean making them in the first place? No, I didn't make them. But I don't think you appreciate that when I was, what, like 17, 18, mm -hmm. I was like playing Ms. Pac-Man like you wouldn't believe. In actual arcade mm -hmm. places, not at home. I go to those places, places. I went and to... ignore people standing around me yeah. for hours. Yeah. Well, now I get to ignore people in the and there's no home. one around me. Right. Yeah. No, and and I would pay quarter after mm -hmm. quarter after quarter, and I actually you, did this. You played a lot of Miss Pac-Man. It's the only one that I was remotely good at. Mm -hmm. I played Caterpillar and Frogger. I was so bad at Frogger. <laughs> I played, yeah, no, we're talking like the old school ones because literally that's what was new. Um, and uh, the uh, Space Invaders. Yeah. I played Space Invaders. Mm -hmm. um, I We had an Atari system. Except I wasn't allowed to touch it because it was for boys only. <laughs> That's what my father and my brother said, that it was not a girl's toy. Oh, no. No, not not joking. Uh, I know you're not joking. Um, yeah. That my, my little brain could not handle it. And, and literally, in, I think it was my junior year mm -hmm. or my senior year of high school, was the first year that they introduced a class on computers ever yeah and we did you take the class on computers yeah and we learned basic coding you did yes what kind of well what coding language was it back then dude it, this was 1986 it wouldn't even matter if i told you <laughs> because i don't even remember when I was in junior high school, the idea that I was taking like typing classes um, w with real typewriters, and the mm -hmm. you know the big deal there was that we got electric typewriters that plugged in, and that was like super, super amazing that we didn't have to kill our hands like typing so hard. Um, but. You guys act as if, like, your parents never played video games, but, yeah, we started, th this was, this was fun. I, I was a, um, one of my first jobs was as a summer camp counselor. And one of the favorite things that we did in summer camp was the summer camp had a separate little house filled with video games. It did. Yeah. I want my summer camp to have a it was, little It was a private school. Games. It was a private school that had summer camp, and they built a video game house at the summer camp. 
and it had Ms. Pac-Man. Really? Like, yeah, I'm talking like the, the big uh, square, you walk up to it, Ms. Pac-Man ones. Hmm. That, they don't do that anymore. That's really cool. So of did they, they teach you to code in those rooms? Because I thought in your generation, you guys also thought that all video games were the devil, even Ms. Pac-Man. Or, was, or had that not started yet? What are you talking about? I've never heard of that. How? What? No, of course we didn't think they were the devil. We thought, where's the quarter? Get me to the pack. Get I me meant to the your. Pac -Man. I meant your parents. I don't. I don't know what my parents thought. I know my dad bought my dad, my brother, an Atari and thought mm -hmm. it was the future and had him working on it. And now my brother works in computers and makes quite a bit of money at it. Hmm. So that became his future. So yeah. Um, huh. so that was a good deal for my brother, but, uh, no, no, we, and we had, we had the first Atari, like we had Pong. Yeah, you had Pong. With we the had knobs? Pong. Did you have it with the knobs? Yes. <laughs> nice. We, like my brothers would spend hours playing dunk. Dun, 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 yeah. And every once in a while they'd let us play. And it was super hard because like we were trying to learn those kind of things and it was, and there was no reception. Like it was really hard to, to get it to it was, it was, react. You had to like twist the knob super hard? No, it just, there was just, there was just, it just didn't um, react quickly, or it reacted too quickly. It just it wasn't sensitive, or it was too sensitive, you know. Mm -hmm. So, you got. I, I think you guys forget that your parents' generation is the first gaming generation, and that's why your dad is a gamer. Uh, he plays more board games now, and. Your dad played video games yeah, he, all the time. He, he you have had Warcraft. every video game system in your house since you were born. Every major video game system no, we, Mom, we got the GameCube when the Wii came out. Yeah, but we had all... We had the original Xbox for the longest time while the 360 was out. Yeah. But, but, you know, in general, we had the gaming systems. It's not like we were on a desert island. <laughs> we're not on a desert island. Of gaming. You know, your dad played video games and played with you guys. <laughs> yeah, he did play with us. You know, that's actually an interesting topic I was telling you the other day. Um, we did have an Xbox and stuff. Dad got me into... Introduced me to things like Halo and stuff. So Dad was getting... The games when the when the original Xbox was around, mm -hmm. um, but like I would tell kids when I was older, like yeah, I'm gonna go home and play Minecraft with my dad, or I'm gonna go play Halo with my dad, and they're like, you play video games with your dad? Like that was the weirdest thing, and I'm like, yeah, of course. Like that's kind of weird, dude. Like what? No, it's not. He he introduced me to Halo, like he introduced me. Of course we play them together, and they just, you know, people just don't have dads. I want to spend time with them, you know. I appreciate, I need, I appreciate my dad a lot. The only rule that your dad and I had was that if the game had questionable things in it, mm -hmm. that he couldn't play until you guys were in bed. Right. And that if he chose to play all night and was tired in the morning, he couldn't take it out on anybody if he, if he stayed up all night and was grumpy. Right. So those were the only rules. If he wanted to play, play all night, you know, as a... 26, you know, or you're old, or a 30 year old, or however we old we are when you guys were really little, that was up to him. I didn't care. I didn't stop him. I just yeah. said he had to be responsible about it for you guys. And frankly, you know, me too. <laughs> um, I think we turned out pretty responsible sure. about it. I, I don't have any problem with computer games as long as they're they're you know, fun and not uh, and not gonna take over your life. Yeah, and I've played so many games, right? And they haven't taken over my life per se. Like, 
From what I, you know what, yeah, this is the other good thing. So from what I've learned from dad is that I learned to manage my time. And I think one of the biggest examples of that is was when he was playing Warcraft. You know, because he was playing Warcraft, like, a lot back mm -hmm. when he first started playing it. And then I, ju I just remember, like, there was a time where it just really felt tense and it really felt like he was doing it too much in his life. And he wasn't really enjoying the game either. He was just playing it to play it at a certain point. He's told me about how much he didn't really like, like, the social aspect of Warcraft because, like, he would try to join guilds and people wanted him. People wanted him to really just grind out the game in terms of, like, knowing every little thing and knowing exactly how to play his class and stuff. Yeah. And, like, being upset at him if he didn't come to, like, the in-video game guild It wasn't guild a meetings. game. It was a business. Yeah, it became, like, it became, like... He had responsibilities of other people within the game. And, he, and like, some people enjoy that. He didn't, right? Yeah. He played the game to have fun. He didn't care about the meta. And so there was a certain point where it just became too much and he stopped. And I think... Yeah. I think I remember around the time when he... When I think he made that decision, he didn't tell any of us about it. But I am... I think that kind of shaped... Like, that, like, without him, like, telling me, Oh, you know, son, don't do video games too much in your life and stuff. I think that shaped, like, my perspective of games in terms of, like, not letting them take over my life. You know what yeah, I mean? It's fine to play them, mm -hmm. but you just, it's like anything. You you take responsibility for making sure that you're balancing everything. Right. I'll tell you a story about yourself, if you didn't already know this. I might not have. Um, when you were, like four or five years old, you would play video games. Mm -hmm. You know, like, what was that little one? Um, Pajama Sam. Pajama Sam and Freddy Fish. Yeah. The humongous entertainment and, like, the backyard baseball and the yeah. backyard soccer. And you'd, you'd play them um, and you'd just play for a long time and I'd say, okay, you can play for an hour mm -hmm. or something. And you'd say, okay, and I'd come around and say, okay, your hour's up. And you'd scream your head off. Because you were just and so what? upset. Over yes. pajama Sam, you know, like No, you yeah. couldn't, didn't want to get off, and you mm -hmm. didn't have enough time, and you just started, and everything. And I said, no, you had your time, and you were so upset, and you are just mm -hmm. like, you would go ballistic. And I just couldn't figure out how to um, get you to understand timing and, and mm -hmm. just, you know, managing your time on that. Until one day, I don't know, I think somebody gave me the idea. I can't take credit for this. I think somebody gave me the idea of putting a timer in front of you. So I got an egg timer from the store. So we just got a golden feather, so now we can jump more and climb more. So we're a bird. And then we, we. It's a penguin. It's a, okay, maybe it's a penguin. It's a penguin that can fly. Maybe it's not a penguin. It, it can Because I, can, I can't accept the penguin can fly, because that's just. Okay, yeah, maybe it's not that's a big-headed bird, though. Yeah, her name's Claire. Anyway, keep going. Um, yeah, so we got a, I got a little, um, timer, and I put it in front of you and gave you, like, 20 minutes or 30 minutes on it and said, when this goes off, your time is done and you have to turn off your computer game. Mm -hmm. And you said, okay, and you could watch it going down. And you never like altered it. You never like did I, did moved I? it. No, I know, no, because I would, you know, I knew how much time it. I had my own timer. Oh, because it was like an egg timer, click, click, click. Yeah, right. Egg timer, yeah, yeah, yeah. Click, click, it click. wasn't like. So you could watch like it going down. One or um. And and as soon as that thing went bing, you turned it off. No more crying. Why do you think I adapted to that? Because. It, Did I not have the perception of time? It being you didn't an have hour? a perception of time without being able to watch. So I like I was thinking that you were stopping me after five minutes and just being. Yeah, without that, you had no perception of time. Mm -hmm. And as soon as we made that change, you were you were just a little lamb. Mm -hmm. It was it was the craziest change, and uh, and I think we did that with homework too. Finish your homework in this amount of time. Okay, and if we mm -hmm. say finish your homework. You just like took forever to do it. But if I gave you a timer, you'd do it within the time. Hmm. I don't know why. I don't know why either. Because I kind of, well, I do that without timers now. Yeah. 
because you've, you know, you've grown up, but, but you, you've learned, you learned over time to, you know, focus. But it was, it was just like this crazy, crazy thing where you went from absolutely inconsolable to bing, and you were fine. Walked off, happy as planned. Huh. It was, it was unbelievable. That was, that was a nice day. That was a nice, that does sound like a nice day. I'm glad I adapted to that like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, basically... We're expecting a call, but there's no reception on this island that we that what, we're. What's our end goal? What what's Claire trying to do? Claire's trying to get to the top of Hawk Peak Mountain, where she can get some reception so that she can call her mom, because I think her mom's in the hospital. And what's she doing on the mountain? Why didn't she go? To she's the hospital? Uh, she's just away on a trip, right? Okay. Like you know. And how does she know her mom's in the hospital? Well, she's known her mom's in a hospital. This is probably a trip to kind of relax from the stress of that. I don't know what she has. It's not clear. You're making stuff up. I'm not making stuff. Okay. You know what? We're no. giving this. You're, we're giving this rabbit a headband from a turtle. Why? Because she lost her lucky red headband. There's been a lot of. So this is going. one of those. This is one of those where you go around doing favors for people to yeah. get to get things so that you can get. Uh, you know what? Yeah, ups. this is kind of like a this is kind of like a pajama Sam thing. So we're not leveling up, we're just turning one thing in to give it to another so that we can reach our goal. Um, and we're those golden feathers that give us like extra jumps, we need, there are 20 of them in the game, but I think we only need, um, I think like five more to make it to the top. Mm -hmm. um, so like there's a bunch to collect, there's a bunch of little things to do. It's just a game about being cute, exploring. Yeah, but it's the same as some of your yeah. other games where Taylor you have the to... Turtle, they're like the regional champion. The sandbags would be like at least twice as lucky, possibly even quadruple lucky. Is it good and sweaty too? I would like Probably. it. Probably good and sweaty. I think it'll so pump these running. Take these running shoes. Okay, now I have running shoes. However, just keep in mind they require golden feathers. Now I can run. Um. So yeah, this is a game, but I don't level up per se, but I get things as I go along. Yeah, but this is the same concept yeah. as um what's that world game that that you guys play? Um Skyrim? Yeah. But, okay, the same but, concept. but we don't we don't kill people. Well, I know game. you don't <laughs> kill people in this, but in Skyrim you have to you know, achieve yeah, yeah, all these little goals and do yeah, favors that's... for people, and everybody in the entire world can't do anything for themselves. <laughs> they all wander around going, well, somebody better help me because I'm just mm -hmm. going to stand here until somebody helps me. It's supposed to be the coast line, though. I'm trying to go for a more abstract look. So this guy's trying to paint. He's trying to find the right inspiration. It's more about the mood of the beach than the beach itself. Wait, how do I... I just go with the rock to climb it, right? Okay, yeah, okay, I know what to do. I'm gonna get this treasure up here. Anyway, I really like this game. So, the game's called A Short Hike, and it really is short. This game, so me and Sam played this together, and we got like all 20 feathers and stuff like that. And it's Sam, your sister. Sam, my sister. And it still only took us like two hours to do basically everything in this game. So it's a very short game. Uh, two hours is a short game. Yeah, most games are 40 hours. Most like story-based games are like 40 hours. And generally, most um, if you're games going... games are 40 hours. Uh -huh, yeah, like a, an average Zelda game is 40 hours, Mom. Because we're not talking about... Okay, think about this. So you're watching Mysterious Benedict Society, right? Yes. Each one of those is about an hour long. So that's like, 
and there was like 10 I nuts. I guess you want your entertainment value. Exactly. Okay. Right? Because like, those, that's 40 hours of not just fast. you watching something. That's 40 hours of you like engaging with it at all times, right? And in some like repeatable games, like something like Smash Bros, it's you know. It's a book that you are interacting with. Exactly, basically. Because like, how long would it take you to read an Agatha Christie book? Mom loves Agatha Christie. Not my absolute favorite, but I do. Oh, very Agatha much. Christie's not your absolute favorite. Wait, this is news to me. What's your absolute favorite then? I like Niall Marsh really well. Which one is that? Oh, uh, she's another one of that same time period. Um, I don't think I've ever heard of that. Name. I like Josephine Tay also. I think I remember that one. Um, yeah, I like it. You keep losing her own feathers. There. Yeah, yeah. So whenever I lose. A feather like that, see down at the bottom left? Mm -hmm. That's just an indication that I've used the jump. So the so the uh so the her own feathers dropping is a just a visual indication of that. So like if I'm climbing the sill, there goes a the feather. Boom. So it doesn't hurt? No, it doesn't hurt. Hurts lose feather all the time, Mom. It's called a molting. And this gliding mechanic is just really nice. Well, then and why do you keep going down if you're supposed to be going up? Uh, because I'm trying to get different places. I'm trying to remember where this one dude is. We're gonna buy another feather off of him. Sometimes you gotta go down to go up, Mom. Uh, is that is that like a life lesson? Just lost my yeah. It's a it's a life lesson. <laughs> Is that what these teach you? Life lessons? Yes, I learned lots of life lessons from these games. So, what life lessons have you learned from uh, Halo? Uh, let's see. Don't touch the goo. Sometimes, okay, from Halo? Yeah, don't touch the goo. The life lesson from Halo is that sometimes you can be more than just the guy who takes orders. Because that's like Master Chief's whole like character arc is that he just he he goes out he follows orders he kills things he's a robot basically but he's a man because he's been trained his whole life um, and like throughout the things he like learns to like make decisions for himself right because he kind of loses every he kind of loses everyone that was giving him the orders in the first place so he kind of gets kind of lost okay I think I can buy another one oh never okay. mind. What's the life lesson from Mario Kart? From Mario Kart? The life lesson from Mario Kart is that sometimes you're in first place. Sometimes when you feel like you're doing really good and in first place a blue shell comes along and hits you just as someone comes up behind you. And you just have to accept that sometimes. Life is a lot like Mario Kart. Sometimes you just get blue shelled. And that's okay, you just race again. Sometimes it's not about whether you get blue shelled or not. Sometimes it's just about having fun. Driving, driving, taking the turns, and racing. Should I make that into a t-shirt? You should Sometimes make that into a t-shirt. I've got a life show. lesson for every video game I play. I can, I can spin anything, Mom. Okay. You shouldn't okay. have asked me I this wanna, question. I want to, I want to hear your spins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going. What else you got? Um. Let's see. Uh, Mario Party. Mario Party. Ooh. Uh. Your friends suck. That's <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Lose your friends right now. <laughs> so the uh I'm gonna point this out. Um one of the cool things about this game is its dynamic music. So the music just changed depending on the area I was in. So the musical artist for this is really good. Very nice little sweet melody. Well, I have to appreciate that this isn't so mm -hmm. um Twangy, like from the Mario music. Oh yeah, no, it's not all belief. This one isn't all beliefy. It's more like classical guitars. Okay, pick a Zelda and tell me what the life lesson is from one of the Zeldas. Pick a Zelda. Let's see. The most recent Zelda. The most recent Zelda, Breath of the Wild. Let's see. Ooh, that's a good one. Um, set everything on fire. No, I'm just. <laughs> uh. So, this Zelda kind of, like, 
So you know the, the Zelda... life lesson is okay. once you have a good product, just keep milking <laughs> it. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait. Okay. Zelda doesn't do that as badly as something like Disney does. You know how many... Like, the last thing is Star Wars. Anyway. Um, so in the no, latest... No, I asked about Zelda. <laughs> so in the latest Zelda game, um, Zelda knows... So this prophecy has been going on for ages. The the characters in this game know that there have been, like, quote-unquote, know that there have been other Zelda games, other Zeldas, other Links that have, like, defeated Ganon. And they're about... They gotta defeat theirs because they know that their Ganon's coming soon. And Zelda, like, she knows that, like, she's the Zelda. She knows that she's gonna have, like, these, like, wisdom powers and stuff. Um... But she just can't seem to get them to activate. Like she, she doesn't. She can't unlock her potential, and that frustrates her because she knows what her potential is, but she's been trying and trying and trying, and she can't reach it. Oh, I have to go to like a hot spring because it's cold now that I'm higher. Well, now it's warm. Um, and. Her worst fear comes to pass. Ganon comes before she's ready. And, you know, and then, like, most people die. A hundred years pass. We can't go up high enough till we find some more feathers, unfortunately. Like, and she just feels like a failure. And this is actually kind of brought out a little bit more in Age of Calamity as well, which is kind of like a side story that goes into the characters a bit more, even though it's kind of a... Kind of a side thing. Um, and we kind of learn through backgrounds and through uh, Asia Calamity that she realizes that just that she's not a failure just because she didn't do something in the time that she wanted to. Now, granted, that time was a really important time. Yeah. where she needed to save lives but that doesn't mean it was her fault for you know not doing it in time you know what I mean and I kind of connected with that because like I feel like that a lot of the time like and unlike Zelda you know I didn't have a big monster that came around and beat everyone up because I couldn't figure get my stuff together in the right amount so of time so it was out of her control it was evidently out of her control because um she finally unlocked it and held Ganon from doing any more damage, like, right at the end, when she realized how much Link was important to her. But uh, probably not just that, but, like... Wait, is she going to look up her ancestors? Is that going to help? Maybe. Yeah, we found a graveyard, Mom. Wait, what? <laughs> do do, do. Um... <laughs> What are you talking about, Mom? This is what you do all the time, right? No, um... <laughs> Not pleased about this part. <laughs> we found some bones. Not pleased. Sorry. <laughs> that was unnerving. I think there's... I think there might be a treasure here, actually. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So she finally figured it out. It might have been too late, but evidently up until that point, it was out of her control. Because it took her that long to learn... Oh, I think this is probably Trisha right here. Yeah. It's always a treasure in circles of rocks. Please. Yeah. Anyway, you get what I'm saying with that? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, the game... Now, that's just Zelda's character. I think this leads to, yeah, this leads to the camp I was at earlier. This is inside the mountain, or on the other side of the mountain. This is on the other side of the mountain. This is where that one goat was, who sold us some of the feathers. So we gotta go look for some more. Who's going around hiding all this money? I don't know. It's a. It's an island. Of course, there's money. Pirates. 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 
think they we're gonna go back through this way. Back. <laughs> I don't know if it's pirates or not. <laughs> you know, I think there's a life lesson in this. Oh yeah, no, this is. I think the life lesson is, you know, you probably really should have gotten a better coverage on your, on yourself. <laughs> yeah, that you, that it, it goes all the way out to It's worth paying this. for better cell coverage in the first place. Instead of going Mom, through all this we're at basically crap. a campout. Do you get cell coverage when we go on campouts? We haven't gone on campout. Because I, oh. I have better coverage. Well, you know what? You're right. <laughs> Wait. Oh, yeah. I don't go on campouts. We don't go on campouts. I wish we did. Yeah. I used to like campouts. Treasure map. You did. Tell me about some of the campouts you went on. Was it with us or, like, did you go as a kid? Never went on campouts as a kid. Uh, I only went to girls' camp with the church youth group. Yeah. But my family didn't go on campouts. Not really. Do you, did you have any fun times on the youth group campouts? Um, I wasn't really camping. It was more like a campsite that had already mm -hmm. had like um. Uh, A-frames and stuff, not tents. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't, you know, and there was a hall that was had a full kitchen. So I wouldn't really call that camping so much as hanging out in somewhere else that wasn't home. Mm -hmm. I, I don't really call it camping. Yeah, I like hiking, I though. Yeah, I like hiking too. We should have. Uh, uh, Dad went to that one place, not Sugarloaf, the other place recently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we should go there. We should go there. It looks really like, yeah, like he was like, as soon as I show you pictures, you're gonna remember it, and he was right. I I remembered it. Yeah. Like really well. I thought I knew where. Like, oh, this is back at the start. Oh, but now we can do this. Still a little confused as to why we haven't gone up. Well, we're not strong enough to climb up that high yet. So I'm trying to find more feathers. You said that. You still haven't found more feathers. Yeah, I still haven't. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry I still haven't found more feathers. And we have to find how many? At least seven. Well, I like board gaming. I think we have a lot of fun board gaming. I think we family. do have a lot of fun board gaming, especially more now. So we play a lot of board games, and we have ever since you guys were little. But like we back when we were little, we would play things like Scrabble, Upwards, um, yeah, but Uno. We, yeah, but we played other games too as you guys got a little older. Mm -hmm. But you know, we play. Um, Carcassonne, and we played... Yeah, Carcassonne was one of the good ones. We played that... What was the training game called? Uh, Ticket to Ride. No, 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 the other one. Oh, Transamerica. Yeah, 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 yeah. Transamerica was a favorite, uh, especially when Hannah was really little. Yeah, Hannah loved Transamerica. And she whooped us so bad when she was, what, like... Yeah. Seven? <laughs> six or seven? Not wrong about that. She... She would get very upset if she didn't win. So she won. So oh yeah, and didn't she do student. like the winner dance, whatever? Oh yeah. yeah. But that came from that came from a different game. Yeah. Um so and I think I I think that the fact that that we played a lot of games was was good for just hanging out as a family. Yeah, because we and just and uh, and I think it was good for for your you know math and computation skills and communication Honestly, skills. Honestly, I do feel like board games made me smarter. Maybe even more than video games. <laughs> yes. But yeah, probably. I, I hope so. There. I mean, they're still both games, but like, anyways. Well, you know, it's more interaction. Yeah, it's like because you're like facing. The person most of the time. Although, That's why Dad likes board games so much. He likes to face the person. Yeah. Uh, 
Although you guys all, we, we would play games where we would guess. You know, what kind of games was it we had, that we were guessing words? Like, uh, uh, like 20 questions or something? No, I'm thinking, um, not spy fall, but, um, where words? No. Did that, that, we did that way later. No, what is it? Um, what's that? Any game where it's like there's there's spy there's two spies on either side and it's blue and it's red and you have to figure out where the spies are under uh, code the names. Are. Code names. Code names. Yeah, you guys always got mad at me for code names. Mad at you for code names. Because I use words that you guys <laughs> said weren't words. Because <laughs> no. <laughs> they were real words that were just very smart. <laughs> well, just or like you guys hadn't heard of them. Because they were from maybe another era or something. So this guy, he's painting, but he doesn't feel like painting. He feels like only perfect paintings need to be in this museum. And later he learns that, you know, that's, he can deal with the stuff that just shows his progress. I think I've been learning that as I've been doing art lately too. I've been liking a lot more of what I do just because I've been appreciating like how far I'm coming. Anyway, here's a good bit. Here's a good bit. Well, that's a good thing to appreciate. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I was an art major, it, that was a hard thing for me to appreciate. Didn't people like pressure you though? Because like, I, I understand like... I'm not an I've, art major. I actually... Or anything. Finished, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, but, like, I was a bit... I got my bachelor's degree in business administration. Mm -hmm. But like, would people be like, oh, well, your art sucks. You probably shouldn't do art anymore. Because I feel like people told no, that I, to either me or you at some point. Oh, no. You always get that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's fishing hard? Nope, it's easy. I could show you if you like. Yeah, here. I'll lend you my spare rod. I found a fishing rod. As you know, line is pretty easy. Just press B. So, uh, what do I do now? You wait? Doing this right? Yep. I really can relate with this character right now. Oh yeah. Mhm. Mm Maybe should cast it again. You know, find a better spot. This spot is good. Saw some fish around here earlier. That's a good sign. Sometimes just gotta wait. Patience is key. Hmm. Not my strong suit. Really relating. So which one, the the guy on the left or Claire? Claire, definitely Claire. I did it! You caught a fish. Where did it go? It went in my pocket. This is a game with a pocket. Oh, this is magic pocket game? <laughs> this is magic pocket game. I thought it, that Claire ate it right away. <laughs> it's really hard for me to call this character Claire. Because of your friend Claire. And I, I'm, I'm just not... My friend Claire? What friend do a, I have named Claire? You have a friend named Claire. Jared's daughter. Anyway. No, Kendall. Okay, never no, mind. No, I don't. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> What's with a frog? He's a frog. He gets so excited about going to sleep, he has trouble sleeping? Yes. That is not a life lesson. <laughs> that is not a life lesson. That's just weird. You know what? The pixels are really bugging me. It, well, it, the guy chose for it to be this low kind of thing. Yeah. So what is the style choice? I, I'm over it. You get used to it. No, I'm over it. <laughs> I'm not used to it anymore. I'm, I'm done. Okay, well, let's try to get to the top as quickly as I can then. No, I'm, I'm fine with the game. I'm just saying mm -hmm. it it didn't... It's no longer entertaining me. Oh. The, the low pixels. Isn't this cool, just floating around? 
Oh, I can climb that thing, apparently. I did didn't you? know I could do that. Oh, I was going to say, did you just get electrocuted? <laughs> nope, not yet. <laughs> oh, we're back in the graveyard. See, they're fine. All the all the holes are patched nope, up. Nope, nope, don't want to have that conversation. <laughs> oh, sick. Look at this. Oh, right, the little volcano. I should go over there. I should go over there. Why? You'll see. It's not a volcano. It's more of a geyser. That's completely the opposite of a volcano. Oh, is it? Like, logistically? Geysers have water. Oh. Volcanoes okay, it's a, it's a geyser lava. then. lava. Treasure map. Wait, is that one? No. Is that my phone or your phone? It's my Not phone. Mine. Hold on. Ugh. I've been picking up calls lately because it might be important. So, like, it might be work or something. Well, you can cut this part out. I could cut this part out. Good answer. You have an appointment today. Yep. You don't owe me anything. Yep. You know what? Yep. You know, there used to be a time, maybe I won't cut this out, because I feel like there used to be a time when I'm like, oh, I have to go to everything, you know? Yeah. And not because anyone was pressuring me, but I was simply pressuring myself, like, this is how I look like a good person. But you know what? And I'm not going to get too much in detail here about it. But, oh, another pail. Well, you can always say, I wish I could. And you could when you can. I mean, do it when you can. Is this new? Wait. But today you thing. have, you, uh, yeah. you, you and your dad are going to go... Hang out my tonight. And dad are gonna go hang out. Oh, I haven't actually done this bit yet. This is uh, this is actually um, an update he made later after me and Sam played it. He's done. <laughs> of boredom. Oh. Splash him with the water. That will not be boring. He won't be bored anymore. <laughs> it didn't do anything. Okay, hit him with the axe. That won't be boring. Okay, I won't do that yet then. No, I didn't mean it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a new bit. I haven't been here yet. Are you supposed to entertain that guy? Because you're the guy yeah, that goes probably. around entertaining and doing everything for everybody that can't do anything for themselves. Yeah, probably. I'll figure it out later, though. Are we back at the graveyard? Why do we keep coming around to this place? Okay, I wanted to go to the geyser, which is this way. I think. It's this way, actually. Yeah, here it is. Nope, I was wrong. Perhaps you need a map. Perhaps I need a map. I don't think you get a map in this game, is the thing. You kind of just got to remember, because it's small. It's a small little thing. Oh, what I can do, though, is... Safety first. Okay. There it is. Found it. Why do we want the geyser of boiling hot water? Boiling hot water. Again, boiling. Whee! That's why. Safety note, kids. Seriously, don't go by. Don't go near geysers. <laughs> it's okay. It's a bird. She doesn't get burned. <laughs> well, I don't know. People do, and they, you know. Anyway. Okay, I know where to get some. I just gotta remember where to find it. Don't need to pick up all this money though. 
And when are we going to spend all this money? So there's a kid who's got some more feathers. When are we going to find he's, the kid? And he's scalping them, basically. He's, but he's he's only scalping them to pay for his college fund. So we're going to go find him and pay. So for he's him. gone around and collected all these feathers so nobody else can have them. No, there's some around. There's some that I could collect that are still sitting out there. I just can't remember where they are. It's been a while since I played. So it's easier to go to the scalper. I know generally where the scalper is comparatively, yeah. For now. But yeah, this game is nice. It's just nice and relaxing, quiet, and you just get to glide around. It's a little boring. It's a little boring. Well, not every video game is supposed to be super on edge exciting. Sometimes you just need a game that can give you a little break and I go get on that. a short hike. I get that. Mm. I'm not complaining. I, I'm mm. enjoying spending time with you. Mm -hmm. Trying to think of games I've liked watching. You know what? Yeah. So. What are games that you have liked watching? Because, like, there aren't too many. Well, Skyrim's interesting. Skyrim's interesting enough because it's that same kind of... Halo kinda was back. interesting, but it was... I mean, it's... It's a shooter? It No, shooters I don't mind, but they get... They're repetitive. Go here, bang, bang, bang. Go mm. here, bang, bang, bang. Um, Kill, kill, kill. But... It, um... Mm-hmm. And Zelda's very pretty. All the mm. Zeldas are very pretty. But they get, eventually they get a little repetitive. In terms of like, oh yeah, go into yeah. the temple, find the item that you need for yeah, the temple. Yeah, boss monster, boss monster. You know. Mm -hmm. Hit it in the eye, even you know that. Yeah. You, it, you have to, okay, well you have to have so, so many tries. Mm -hmm. da, 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 because you won't, there's no way you're going to actually make it until... It hits this point. Mm -hmm. Here's the it. kid. Okay. Is he just hanging out by the wall? Yeah. I think that's all he has. Yeah. What's your deal? What's my deal? <laughs> What's your deal? Well, I'm hiking up to Hawk Peak. Wow. That's kind of basic. Hey, I'm just saying. Tourists come from all over. They're like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hike Hawk Peak. And they get up there and see that it actually takes real effort. And then they give up. Jeez. You don't have to be like that. Just saying. It's a little basic. So, what is your deal? I gave you mine. I need money. I'm going to be short on tuition next semester. I'm nearly there, though. I'm just trying to make some extra cash. Huh. How much do you need? Well, after I sell all my junk, this will be short by about 400 coins. Oh, okay. Yeah. But whatever. That's life, I guess. Like, I just gave you 400 coins. I did just give him 400 coins. He needs 400 more. So this is going to get a little difficult, because as you see, our feathers freeze up now when we use them. Because it's cold. So we have to find hot springs like that. How can I tell that they're freezing? Down there on the left. You see how they're like all blue oh. now? What do you need to do? Either stop at a hot spring or like a campfire like this. Oh. So like, uh, here I'll go back. See it's like steaming right here? Yeah. Boom, feather's fine. You just gotta warm up. Unless you get distracted. Unless I get distracted. I feel like there should be up drafts here too. Well, it would make sense. So 
the other music's getting more intense as I'm getting higher. I love that. Oh, I think I can... real low. Is there air? You don't know? <laughs> Seems fine to me. bridge I just came from. No, no, there was another one around the other corner. Okay. Oh, there's one. Yeah, there's one, okay. We're almost at the top, but it looks like the bridge collapsed. There might be another way up, or you can just go collect more golden feathers. Easy. Or I can fly. Or I can fly. Wait, is this it already? Phew. I did it. It's very pretty. It is very pretty. And then it's going to get even cooler in a second. No, not like a second, but a bit. This is what I do at the top of the mountain, just kind of sit there for a bit and get a phone call. <laughs> Cell phone reception. Hello? Hi, Claire. Mom. I'm so glad to hear from you. I've been waiting all day to hear from you. I've been worried. Oh, honey. Told you I'd be funny. Yeah. We always say that. And I always am. Anyway, how have you been? Well, I'm at the top of Hop Peak right now. Oh, wow. I love it up there. Me and I used to go up every summer together. That was the person I started with down at the campfire. It's about time you made it up. Yeah, I know. You're so big now. My little girl's leaving the nest. You won't have any need for a little old mom. But I do need you. I'll never not need you. When I heard about the surgery, how come you never told me this was a thing? I didn't want you to worry. But I know you can get worked up about things. I could have been there for you. You're all alone there now. Really, it was nothing. Everything was fine. I'm just glad you're okay. I love you, Mom. I love you too. Wait. Something's happening. The, the famous Hop Peak Updraft? Uh, it looks like it. You should catch a ride on it now, before it fizzles out. I wanna... I'm kinda nervous. Claire, you can do it. I'll come visit you soon, okay? Also... Don't forget to say to hi, say hi to Aunt May for me. She's probably waiting for you back at the cottage. Bye, I love you. Love you too, Mom. Well, this is a very cute mm -hmm. and very sweet idea. Yeah, I was like, I was gonna show you like a shooter game and stuff. I was gonna show you my Monster Hunter game, but then I remembered this game. And I'm like, uh, I don't want to switch to, like, the PC when we're in the middle. So I bought it again. Aww. <laughs> I bought it again on the Switch because, well, for one thing, to support the developer because I really enjoy this game. Um, but also because I thought, like, why would I show you a shooter when I really want you to know, like, what video games can really be about. And that's, like, you know, stuff like this. Like, it doesn't have to be all running and gunning. It doesn't have to be all... You know, do little tasks for everybody. Oh, there's a little side draft there. Let me try to ride it. Whee! 
Sometimes it can just be taking a short hike. Mm -hmm. And this is a cool little ending because now we get to float over our whole, the whole island that we just traversed, which we would have traversed longer if I didn't like speed run to the ending. Well, isn't there a game Samantha was playing with just flying around? Yeah, the little her? bird game. I don't even remember what that game is. Um, but yeah, kind of. Sometimes you just want something to simulate gliding like this. Just exploring around. Well, I can appreciate that. Because it's like, like, yeah, we can go on a hike, you know? And I love hikes. I like the one, one of my favorite hikes right now is a place called Sugarloaf Mountain. Um, but you know, sometimes there's a pandemic. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or you just need 20 minutes or an or you hour. Just need, or you just need 20 minutes or you're homesick. Or you just are having a crummy day and you don't want to go see anybody. And there's the guy who we were fishing with. There's the runners. I First, like this music. Mm hmm. Oh, there's the updraft I meant to go to earlier. I think there's a new one now. See if I see if I hit it. You can do this as long as you want. Uh, well, I'm slowly flying downward, so I'm slowly sinking. Yeah. But yeah, if I wanted to gain height, that uses a feather. I think I'm supposed to go this way. Okay, let's, let's grab this treasure. And let's go find Aunt May. Oh, and let's go give that. There was a kid who wanted, there was a kid who wanted some seashells. So let's go give that to the kid real quick before we end. Yo, this updraft is on point. You can get some sick dives on it. Sounds nice. Dang, you know what. Wait, how do you dive? Hold on. Take some practice. You gotta hear me out. First, you gotta be gliding. As you know, you glide by holding A. Then you're high enough off the ground. Release your control stick to dive downward. You must still remember to hold A. That's a trick part. Okay. That's right. There we go. Meow. That's rad. Uh, I think I... No, I can go this way. It all goes in a circle. The dives can be difficult sometimes, though, because, like, sometimes you just dive too hard. And you just, <laughs> you just go straight into the water. Totally forgot about the diving too. I would have been doing that earlier. Keep coming back here. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh wait, we have to do this. Hey, looks like you got the net set up. Are you two gonna play volleyball? Volleyball? Nah. We invented our own game. I think it's gonna be the next big thing. All right, Claire. What? I formally challenge you to a game of Beach Skitball. Ooh, that means you have to play. Yeah, you have to. It's the law. You can't fight the law. Okay, okay. I'll play. Yay. So, how do you play? Step over to the other side of the court and I'll teach you everything I know. Why does he keep saying A? Uh, because that's the button I press to jump or okay. pull something out. Pick something up. These walls, three simple rules. Rule number one, hit the ball with your stick. Yeah, I hit it real hard. Rule number two, don't let it hit the ground. I mean, for the most part. Julie's a ref, so it's all up to her. It's all up to me. Rule number three, believe in yourself. <laughs> That's the most important rule. Don't ever forget it. That's pretty much it. Are you ready? I guess so. The answer is no. You need to look up your stick first. Ready, set, go. Oops, did I lose? Nope, you can never lose. When you play basketball, everyone wins. 
Except if you've popped the ball, then I guess you lose. Otherwise, Beach Good Balls are pretty. It's a purely co-op game. You mean co-op game? Yeah, coop game. <laughs> Means we work together to get a high score. Sounds nice. We get a point for every pass we make. If we get 10 points, we'll give you a prize. Alright, let's do it. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, dang. Oh, wait. We're good. Oh, that was close. Ah, uh, he hit it shallow. But he doesn't. Count of 18 hits. Yeah, we did it. As promised, I've got a prize for you. Take this. Yay! Another golden feather. We may. Uh, that would be pretty hard. Okay, I'm gonna leave it. Bye, kids. I'll take the stick. I'll take the stick. Well, I I came with the stick. I think we can get back to Aunt May from here. Is that an achievement? I uh, know that's the end of the game. Uh, getting the tw oh, you mean getting the twenty hits? Uh, probably. No, no. Aunt is Aunt May the an achievement? Aunt May is the end game. Oh, basically. Uh, there's also a kid who will race you around here that we didn't find. Um, who's around? Who's I just forget where she is. Oh, I think this one's got a feather in it. Yeah. I totally should have come to this side of the island. I forgot about this bit. Or maybe I did. Oh yeah, because there's that dog. Oh, let's talk to her again. How are you doing? I don't know. I've gotten this far, and it's just me. Like, it's got to be luck. Well, maybe a little, but you're so fast, and you've trained so much. We got this far because you're good. Oh. Yeah, I know. I think I've known all along, but I don't know. I get so nervous. Sometimes I wonder if this is all a fluke. But you're right. I don't need luck. Here, you can have the headband back. I'm gonna do this all on my own. I found the headband. Whoa, thanks. Good luck in the race. You got this. Uh, I want to note to you that, um... How do I... Plus, that rabbit hasn't moved. No, nah, she's been running around. Oh. Now I have a headband. Sweaty one. The turtle, the, the, the sweaty turtle. turtle bunny headband. Well, the turtle is the champion. Racer. Oh. Get it? Because it's the turtle. Here's oh, yeah, the kid. I get it. I get it. Here's the kid. Hey, I got your shells. Ooh, I'll take them. So now what? What? I mean, uh, do I get anything? No! Jeez, not even a thank you? It's not very nice. Do what it takes to survive. I never promised you anything. Actually, I do have something for you. A new job. I already have a job. Well, make this your side gig. What if I don't take it? It's your loss. Good jobs are hard to find. So what will it be? Take your side gig. Good. Take this. Now show Netflix and deliver it to Ranger May. That is all. Why did she get water? Because I'm going to trigger a dialogue thing over here. Pretty hot out. Guess we don't really need a fire right now. Got a delivery. It's from Jen. Oh wow, it's so pretty. She's such a sweet girl. Clicking all those shows must have been a lot of work. Well, actually, hmm. Ah, never mind. Oh, I remembered something. Found this golden feather in the cabin. Figured you'd use it. Bing. Whoa, thanks. This is weird timing. This is it like a reward for delivering the necklace. Uh, no. Huh. Oh, by the way, did you make it to the top? Yeah. It was really nice. I see why you like it so much, though. It wasn't exactly a short hike. I'm really tired. Haha. <laughs> well, maybe that was a bit of an understatement. Only a bit. It's kind of been a busy day. Oh yeah? What have you been up to? Well, I learned how to fish. Did you Did you know? Yeah. Bill lent me a fishing rod. Of course it was Bill. I don't think I've ever seen him not fishing. Also, I played a game of beach skipball. What's beach skipball? It's some game that the kids play. They're always playing something new. Can't keep up with the youth these days. Oh, I found a secret shortcut through the mountain. You mean... You got through the blocked tunnels? That's very dangerous. You're blocked off for a reason. Uh, whoops. Claire. Anywho. You hungry? You're gonna break out the hot dog soon. Well, I'm kinda tired out. I'm gonna go take a nap or something. Alrighty then. Have a good one. We're gonna relate that to that too, I bet, Mom. Hmm? Taking a yeah. nap. I think it'd be nice to take a break. Sleep. Alright. It's nap time. The end. 
That's it. That's the whole game. <laughs> well, there's a lot more to do, of course. There's like other. There's like the person with that we didn't end up racing. There's still twenty, like ten more feathers to find. Sure. But like, you can do as much or as little of it as you like. I do like the music. Yeah, I'll get you the out. Al- Maybe I'll buy the album too, because it's like a really nice album. Mm. All right. So what'd you think of today? Was I that all right? It was very nice. I'm glad. I'm glad we played the... Yeah, because, like... I don't know what you wanted me to do or say, necessarily. No, you said the perfect things. I just wanted you to talk about me, about, like, yourself. You know, the thing we were talking about with, you know, the video game stuff and the thing we were talking about, like, like the, like the, the, like, the breakdowns of the different video games, like Halo. No, that's all I needed. This is a place to just talk and play. Well, you know, I think you're doing... I think you're responsible, and there's times and place for everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, you know, when it comes to and when it comes to hobbies like this, uh, your dad and I decided long ago that he's got his nerd and I've got mine, and Mm -hmm. and we both respect our our individual nerdness. Everyone's a nerd. We also try to appreciate and and uh, get involved with each other. So although I don't play video games I and do. i don't expect you to <laughs> absolutely love them after this or anything no but i just wanted you to appreciate that there's more than just like the shooters i play and stuff sure you know i do or even like the little blabbity blabbity animal crossing that you can't stand no i can't stand cra- no i i Mom doesn't really like i'm not crossing. gonna i'm not gonna <laughs> have i'm really not gonna understand animal crossing <laughs> i just don't really get that one at all uh, but uh there's and that's why I think I like how I've adapted to the hobby, because, like, I think I haven't really picked up on the streaming because I don't play just one game. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's, like, hard to play multiple games, because if you play one game, then you get good at it, and you uh, you get just the people that like that game. Because if you switch to a different one, then, like, suddenly you don't have the people that like that game anymore, and they don't watch. And I'm saying that because I don't care. I like liking a whole bunch of games. Like... Mm-hmm. I'm playing, like, one day I'm playing Skyrim where I'm hacking and slashing, and the next day I'm playing Animal Crossing and talking to cute characters. I just think there's something unique to be found in all of them. I just wanted you to recognize that as well. That's awesome. All. Awesome. Did you like the part about calling mom? Aww. It was very cute. I hope you know that I feel the same way about you that Claire does about her mom. Thank you. Love you, mom. Yeah, I love you too, sweetie. And that's mom for stuff, everybody. Hopefully, maybe we'll do this again sometime. Maybe not. We'll see. No, we will. No, I didn't. That wasn't a. That wasn't a pause. That was me trying to come up, come up with a comeback, and I and I'm not. Uh, I, okay, I'm just come up not with a very good game. with it. Um, well, maybe they'll come up with a history game, and you know um, what? Maybe people will actually be involved in it, but I just can't see making that as interesting. But it really, I guess, it could be if you ran around solving history mysteries or or mm-hmm. you know okay well, i was about involved. to direct you to assassin's creed which goes through like revolutionary war period and stuff but you're also an assassin just jumping off buildings killing people so but it's is like, there yeah. actual history in it yes but you're also looking for magical apples i don't mind magical okay. apples is there actual real history i think there is so like you meet napoleon bonaparte in one of them you meet um you meet black flag is apparently a really good one because you meet a bunch of like better and lesser known pirates that are like real people yeah but like you're that. not actually learning um and this. then there's civilization which is about you know using you know which is basically a board game in a video well, game. That's, but it's that's, like there's a lot to it well that's barely a nod to diplomacy yeah it's barely a nod yeah <laughs> like diplomacy the board game no okay. to basic diplomacy uh, okay. and and if y'all can think of some good uh, chat, if anyone wants to put some good history video games in the comments. I, I wouldn't know how to, how to build that and make it interesting. Well, somebody probably has. I doubt it. All right. Well, that's all for today. Thanks, Sai. Love you, Mom. Thanks. Love you Thank you, Mom. Sure. All right.